Greetings, people of the internet. This is Scott with CircWorks, and this is 100 Days of Making Comics, where I put aside at least 30 minutes a day in my busy schedule to work on my own personal comic book projects. I'm working on a book called Young and the Dead. It's like Goonies meets Night of the Living Dead. It's kids versus zombies. It's fun. And the first two issues are available on my website, CircWorks.com. Or at youngandthedead.com, which just right now just takes you to circworks.com. That links at the end of the um, at the end of each of, of these videos. And some people, when they go there, they might be expecting a little something different. But uh, yeah, it just takes you to my website. Just redirects you to my website, and uh, and there's a store in there where you can get that stuff. But eventually, hopefully, that youngandthedead.com uh, URL will take you to its own. Uh, own place. I don't. I don't know if it'll even be before I get these 100 day videos done or not. Um, but uh, the, you know, the thing about the internet is once you upload them, they're they're rare pretty much forever. So so if some people are watching this, say uh, three years in the future, and they run across that, maybe they'll be uh, Young and the Dead website up by then. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, so uh, where was I or what I've been doing? This is day 23. I think I, I get it's it's starting to get confusing. These days start to run into each other. Um, so yesterday I was talking about uh, I was just explaining how it might be more difficult for me to get my comic book uh, work done because I had this big project that kind of dropped on my lap and uh, it was a, it's a rush job and all this stuff and uh, no need to worry about that anymore because that job fell through, which uh, a lot of times these things tend to happen. But last minute. Uh, yeah, it was like, uh, I don't want to say it fell through, it was put on hold, which is, the the words were indefinite hold. They're, they said they're still going to go back to it, but they need some time. Uh, experience tells me that that probably won't happen then, but uh, according to them, what they're saying is that, that uh, they are going to go go through with it. The, the client, I guess, uh, said they need more time, and the ad agency that I was working with, I guess they were already, they had, they were already full steam ahead working on getting everything ready to start the project so um and they're, they're kind of in, i guess in the same position i am where or or probably worse because they they put a lot of time in it into it and i don't know how how that all works maybe they um um maybe they're on uh some sort of uh oh, what's the word um uh, retainer or something so maybe they i don't know maybe they got paid for some of that i don't know anyway but Never mind. So <laughs> anyway, so the good thing is, bad thing for me, I lost out on this really big project and uh, and some uh, and uh, really big uh, name for my uh, my resume. Um, but things will be a little less hectic, and I've got some other stuff going on to kind of hopefully keep me busy. So besides the comic, but I will have more time to focus on the comic, and that's always good because that's what we're talking about here today. So. Uh, I put in my 30 minutes today, worked a little more on thumbnails. I showed you some of these yesterday, and then I got a little more. I got three pages. These things are taking longer than I thought. But I kind of, and I think I mentioned this before, I usually skip the, the I go, yeah, I usually just go from my thumbnails right to the finished page. Um, so it takes me a little longer to do thumbnails because I'm thinking about angles and things, and, but usually, I skip the whole rough drawing because what I'll do is I'll just I'll take out the page and I'll just start working really lightly um, with blue line pencils and then constantly just try to build that up and uh, instead of instead of taking that extra step to do rough pencils and then whatever scan them in and, and do all that stuff so and that was something I didn't always do but I started doing that because it uh, I was the first comic book that I was working on, I'm on issue three right now, I've done a couple, but the first one, it was just something that I just wanted to not take so long in all these different stages and just kind of get it done, make it good, but, but get it done. So um, I just said to myself, well, what if I just start drawing? Because before I was just cutting and pasting all kinds of things on, put it in on the light table, tracing all that, and it was just taking forever. So I started doing it that way and it seemed to work. And there's still, there's certain scenes that I'm going to have to take, uh, be a little more careful about. Um, a lot of perspective things that that I might have to do some some rough sketches before. But for the most part, I'm going to go from my thumbnails right to the uh, 
to the finished uh, finished page. And I'll, uh, I hadn't decided whether, I mean, eventually one of these days I really got to try to do, um, switch over to uh, to do this digital digitally. And I said I was going to do that with issue three. Um, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm, uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to do that. Um, reason being, um, it's, uh, where <laughs> I totally lost my train of thought. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, my thoughts ran away with me. I forgot where I was. I was talking about, um, digi creating digitally instead of analog on paper and everything like that. Um, I said I was going to do that with issue three, but there's this, there's this learning curve about learning like the Manga Studio software and everything. So I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm ready for that yet. It's, it's just this weird thing because you know once you learn that, you're going to be able to make comics so much quicker. But in the meantime, you just it takes time to learn the software and, and that takes time. So you have to kind of weigh. Um, definitely in the long run, if you're working digital, then you're going to be more prolific and be able to put more stuff out. Um, in the short term, which is kind of where I am because I need I need to get stuff done. It's it's just easy for me to do what I've always done and and do it um, do it traditionally. So so anyway, that's uh, that's what I'm thinking right now. Um, I, I'll probably start doing it traditionally, and then maybe I will. I want to get the newer version of uh, Manga Studio. I think I've got five or four right now. I think five came out, and I've heard that it's a little more like Photoshop, which I'm used to, because I've tried to look at four, and it was the the interface just looked too foreign to me and it takes me a long time to learn software like Photoshop and Illustrator I use all the time so you know I'm I'm pretty proficient in those programs but like new programs it just takes me a long time to just get familiar with it and 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 also once I I learn it to constantly be using it or I kind of forget that knowledge so um, so hopefully if, if this new version of Manga Studio is a little more like Photoshop, it, it might be easier for me to, uh, to figure out. Um, but it, definitely, I definitely want to learn it because it just looks like this awesome software, especially for making comics, and there's so many things that, that you can do to expedite your comic making process. So uh, yeah, so enough about that. Um, I think that's probably all I'm going to really talk about today. Um, Thanks for following along with me. Thanks for liking my page and, and subscribing to the YouTube channel. Um, any questions, feel free to ask. I um, be happy to answer answer whatever questions you have. And uh, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna. I might get back to doing some more thumbnails on my comic because um, I'd like to get those done so I can uh, break out the Bristol and start working on some actual pages soon. I'm, I'm antsy now that I finally got that script done. So anyway. Um, this has been 100 Days of Making Comics, episode 33, and I'll see you tomorrow for 34. That is all.